check out Algo Monster. Use the code YouTube for 10% off. In this problem, we are given an integer n. We reorder the digits in any order, including the original order, such that the leading digit is not zero. Return true if and only if we can do this so that the resulting number is a power of 2. We know that in this question, the input n is less than or equal to 10 to the power of 9. So the powers of 2 can be 1, 2, 4, a, all the way up to 2 to the power of 29, since 2 to the power of 29 is less than 10 to the power of 9. And 10 to the power of 9 is less than 2 to the power of 30. Since we can reorder the digits in any order, input 21a can be reordered into 12a, which is 2 to the power of 7. On the other hand, input 123 returns false because all the combination of 123 are not a power of 2. The observation we can make is that reordering digits of a number in any order does not change the number of occurrence of its digits. So the main idea behind solving this question is that we want to count the occurrence of each digit in the input n and compare it with the occurrence of each digit in the powers of 2. If the occurrence are the same, it means that we can reorder the digits of n to have the resulting number as a power of 2. If the occurrence is not the same, it means that we can reorder the digits to become a power of 2. If we consider the previous example, 21a returns true since 21a and 12a both have 1, 1, 1, 2, and 1, 8. 1 to 3 returns false since it does not match any powers of 2. Now let's talk about how to implement the solution in Python. First, we need to understand the counter method. The counter method is a class from the collections module in Python, which is used to count the occurrence of elements. In this case, we will use it to count the occurrence of each digit in a number. We we'll start by converting the given number n to a string and then using the counter method to count the occurrence of each digit in n. We we'll use the variable occurrence to store the result. Next, we will use a for loop to iterate through the range of 0 to 29. In each iteration, we we'll compare the occurrence of each digit in t to the power of i to the occurrence of each digit of the given number n. If they are the same, we we'll return true. Otherwise, we we'll increment i and keep comparing. If the loop completes and no match is found, it means the digits of n cannot be reordered to find a power of 2, so we return false. This is the solution to problem reorder power of 2. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you!